Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Kronos Blindly Plays Tales of Astaria. I hope that's how you pronounce it because that's what we're going with. The Astaria was just released today and it's getting its first release on PC with this version of the game. It's a long running series from Tales of Fantasia on Super Nintendo way back in the day. Like way, way back in the day and it's been a series that I've always been quite fond of. So I'm looking forward to this version of the game, especially on the PC because I generally like just play on the PC these days, even though I, though I have like all these consoles. Um, battle difficult, we'll stick with normal, subtitles are on. Uh, we'll, I can just, I can lower all this in. Actually probably, I'm gonna put voice up just a bit. Sound effects down. That should be fine. I just confirm, go for it. The Legend of the Shepherds. Mass Effect? In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. Is the guy speaking right now? The guy that voiced uh, Kratos in uh, Symphonia? And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. I think it is. Once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. The darkness is a volcano. Oh, there's been worse enemies. A little too late for that, I think. Alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. Tales of Zestaria, the retelling of Pompeii. If you don't know what Pompeii is, look it up, ask your history teacher. It looks pretty good. Not the most groundbreaking graphics, but it looks very good, pretty. And seeing how you're on all the art, I'm gonna assume you're the main character. Oh, okay, controls. We got a left trigger to display map. That's gonna come in handy. View sk uh, skits are back. I'm using the 360 controller because that is the best PC controller that ever exist. Uh, start is pause. Unheard of, really. Uh, right trigger, menu shortcut, show objective, sorry, map action? What? Uh, open menu, cancel, confirm, adjust camera. Alright, seems good enough. Elsire, home of the Seraphium. Okay, so we get the map. Guide icons. Uh, main episode, sub episode, save points in shops. How do I change floor? Didn't say. Oh well. Uh, cool. I like uh, legends and maps that actually tell me where to go. That's the pause. Oh, his name is sorry. Okay. <laughs> top menu. Press Y to open the top menu. Here you can. Is this a tutorial telling me how to open the menu in the menu I just opened? No, that's got to be something else. Nope. It is literally telling me how to open the menu where I open the menu. All right, uh, status, all right. Sorry, we got uh, some nice anime art there. Level five, next art is Tiger Blade. Just keeping with the, the classics. 
Uh, martial arts. What? Oh. Well, apparently I don't know any. Uh, B to attack with striking fangs, steel render. This reminds me a little bit of... Zillia. I haven't completed Zillia, but this definitely reminds me of it. Uh, alright. Equipment. Okay. You can customize your equipment and titles. Equipping items enhance your stats. Equipping titles allow you to learn new arts. Cool. Obtain your, or obtain other special bonus effects, depending on your proficiency with the title. Proficiency is increased when you level up. Equipment and skills. Each piece of equipment has four skill slots into which skills can be attached. All right. The skill in the first slot is preset for each item. The, the skills, if any, in the other three slots are determined when you acquire the item. Wait, so is it randomly generated? That's, mm, that could be cool. You can check which skills you can uh, you have equipped when you open the skill sheet. Skill types. There are two major types of skills outlined in the skill sheet. The basic skills attached to your equipment skill slots and bonus skills activated when certain arrangements of basic skills, by certain arrangements of basic skills. There are three main, uh, methods of activating bonus skills. Stack, created by equipping multiple copies of the same basic skill. The number indicates how many of the skills equipped. Equip two or more to activate the bonus skill. Elemental Union, created by equipping skills directly adjacent to each other on the left or the right. Line up two or more to activate the bonus skill. Group Union, created by equipping a vertical column of skills in one group. Line up all five skills in a group to activate the bonus skill. It's perfectly fine to select equipment based off its perimeters, but by copying different skills, you may discover surprisingly effective interactions. Take a little time to try out different types of skills and find the ones best suited for your playstyle. And there goes all the bonuses. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Uh, support talents. That's new. Uh, snack preparation. Make snacks to recover HP while on the move. Each character has their own technique and specialities. Raise the level to increase the number of item types and preparation speed. Point of interest. Detect previously undiscovered monoliths and discover points nearby. Raise level to extend range. Probably, yeah, I'll probably just go with that one. Battle actions. Battle action! You can view the criteria for acquiring an unlearned battle action by highlighting that action in the menu with the cursor. The uh, battle actions marked as auto, auto indicate that the action is poured automatically. This may be useful for players new to the battle system who are still figuring out the rules. Once you get the hang of battle combat, try removing these actions using your AP for other battle actions. Okay, I get that. So they were like, hey, not everyone's up or, you know, accustomed to Tales of Battle. So let's give them Auto Guard, Side Step, Front Step, Back Step. I'll do Auto Guard for now, and what's the Snipe Charge? Defend for one or more seconds in the effect and the effect potential of your next attack. Oh, X doubles, all right. I'm pressing like A thinking it's X. Uh, Conditions, Guard Charge 30,000. <laughs> okay, 200, 100, okay. Fashion. Costumes, really. Lift your bangs and the world changes, or so the youth of the world today believe. Ah, like your other hair. I should have gotten some costumes with, uh, pre-ordering the game. I pre-ordered it because you get Tales of Symphonia for free, so this is just... All the tutorials. We'll we'll learn as we go. Discovery points. I don't know what those are. Um. Oh, these are just skills. Neat. All right. Look those over related enemy books. We start with the enemy book. All right. And what's going on in the story? Records. Okay. So I think we're actually. I didn't check items, did I? I like skipped over that. We got hat style, young man. Okay. We got five apple gels, which are the hailing item of the game. So now that we've gone through all the menu, let's go on with the game. So that star is where we need to go. I mean, I'm not going to go to it right away, but it's nice that they point it out. I do like it when they point it out nowadays. Back when I was younger, like when Fable first introduced their little quest guide thing, I was like, that has ruined the gaming experience. It's bullshit. And now in my old age, I'm like, no, tell me so I can avoid it and explore. Apparently, there was no reason to go over there, but whatever. Uh, episode length-wise, 
We'll probably get like a cutscene or something like that uh, going forward. Episode lengthwise, I'm aiming for 25 to 30 minutes. We'll see how that goes. I mean, could be shorter if this is a relatively like short game. Eh, it's not going to be shorter. Could be longer. I, I think it can only be longer. Nice book. I think I saw that in the intro. You're not a silent protagonist. Okay. The hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. <laughs> Defacing ruins. How awful. Sheena would be pissed. Nothing on my end, Soray. Soray, not sorry. Looks like he beat me this time. This proves the Shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. Dude, people do strange things, sorry. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that? I think our ruin adventure is over for today. What, because of a thunderstorm? Or is it because of that volcano thing? Come on! All right. This way, hurry! What's the hole though? There's a star back here. Hey, we have to get out of here. Uh. Okay, the star was just him saying we need to get out of here. Yeah, that was too close. They need to work on the expressions. Help, please. What? <laughs> Nonchalantly hanging by a thread. Can I get a help? A little help, please. Dude, I could drop you if I wanted to. But I won't. You have no expression. And you're also a mage. Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby. Am I right? I only broke my spine a little bit. For what? Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Speak! I never knew the ruins went this deep. But to leave the investigation for another investigating for another time. We need to find a way out of here. Are you a part of my party? You are. Nick Leo. Um. <laughs> Equipment. You are definitely a mage. Staff. Oh, yeah. Didn't do that before, did I? So we get attacked 4% art. Okay, we'll stick with Sword Harrier. Watermaster Force. Uh, focus 4%. Or art. I'm going to go with art on you because you seem to be a mage. Let me check your s arts just to make sure. You're clearly a mage. All right. Uh, support talents. You get sack. Snack preparation and detect nearby treasure chest and herbs. Treasure detection. Talent treasure detection. With this talent, you can detect treasure chests and herbs in the vicinity. Set it on multiple characters. Increase the size of the detection range. That sounds stupidly good. All right. So... I mean, I don't... It doesn't look like there's anything around here. But if there was, I'm assuming he would be like, hey, there's some stuff here. This aroma. Oh, okay, yeah. So they pretty much just put something here. Reese's max. Really? It's nice. All right. Oh, but, in, you know, in other Tales of games, you could, like, okay, I think it's only in Tales of Destiny, but you could get, like, a Red Sage, which would increase your HP by more. I'm going to hold on to that for now. 
the hell is this? Save game! So it's a save point. Alright, I'll actually uh, save then. Save day is successful. Thought it was going to go away automatically there for a second. Uh, okay. So I'm not sure if it's just going to be this area, but this is new. At least new for the fact in the games that I've played. But party members generally don't follow you like this. And you can't talk to them in past Tales games. If that's the case, that's pretty cool. I like being able to talk to my party members. It's one of the main benefits of... Uh, not benefits, but one of the main things I like about Dragon Quest games is you can talk to your party. For the most part, after three, you can do that. Okay, we're gonna pretend that crash didn't happen. Thankfully, I did save there, didn't I? Oh, man, what a drop. Ah, uh, we can survive it. Jump. Heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. What's a bar relief? Hmm? Pretty sure that's our that's first panty there. shot. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... It's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's we're, still alive. We're not human? We can't just leave her there. Yeah, we could. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. You can totally see her underwear from here, Miklio. Look at it. There's no time to lose. We have to reach her. Playing the Shining Knight is all good and well, but you won't save anyone if you get yourself hurt or worse. Th thanks? Yeah, when I went through that door, totally stopped respawning. And then I had to... Re not restart, but like reload it and do the recording stuff all again. Map actions. You can swing your sword outside of battle by pressing X. Use it to that's a sorry map action then. Alright. Yeah, my sword's all sticky. And if I had a everywhere. dollar for every time I, I heard that. Set foot in here for some time. I mean, these are giant ass fucking cobwebs. They're not cobwebs, they're giant spider webs, man. Also, be sure to tell me if you see any treasure. I don't want to miss any. I have a feeling I'm going to rely on that too much. I'm going to miss some good treasure. What's wrong? Shh. Is it a spider? Because of the giant spider webs? There. No, there. What is this thing? It's a spider, sorry. Quit gawking and get your sword ready. Kind of. Perform martial arts with a B. I almost said X. Uh, martial arts, perform martial arts with B. We already went over this, I believe. When control mode is set to semi-auto, you will run towards your target until you are close enough to attack. Okay, that's pretty much standard from the past games. Ready? I mean, the guy has a lot of... Never mind, he's actually kind of easy once I use uh, Tiger Blade. Hold on, it can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? I've never yeah, seen Yeah, Hellion. Before. What could What's a that? like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? Living? Probably Stay peacefully. Away. Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Your grandpa told you white screen? Hellions? Yep. Hellions, horrible monsters that are created by the malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. Ten bucks, one of us can use it. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, why are we focusing on his pipe? As you can. Remember, you two. Common folks like us don't stand a chance Dude, against just keep that thing's ass. Are you high? I think you're high. Is that why we were focusing on the pipe? We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. 
And anyway, we have bigger problems. It ran away from us. We have to hurry and save that girl before something worse finds her. Like pants. Uh, encounters in areas where Hellions roam. Making contact with the enemy will launch a battle by swinging your sword using X or using another map action. You begin the the battle with an advantage. Neat. Let's see. We got max damage 339, combo 26. Damn right it is. Experience 132. No money. 28 seconds. Grade point 46. Details. All right. Grade won't come in handy for a while, I'm assuming, because it never did in the past games until, like, Really, really late. It's a treasure chest. You can find treasure chests in dungeons. Okay, we know. <sighs> we know what treasure chests are, but this is in our first RPG. As well as consumers can contain couple items, these may often have the same name, but perform differently depending on the attached skill you can check. Okay. So we get ancient earrings. Which we have one equipped. But this one has attack 4%. Neat. Yeah, take that. Yeah. Okay. You can't equip my earrings, can you? Circle it. Alright, so earrings are for Sori, circlets are for Mick here. Is that a monolith? Searching for monoliths. Scattered throughout the dungeons and fields are stone monoliths. Uh, mon monuments or monoliths written by persons unknown that detail lost battle techniques. Oh shit, they had stuff like this in uh, Tales of Destiny. You learn uh, sacred arts from, though you needed certain requirements. After finding one, you can check its teaching at one time in the battle section of the systems book. For each one you find, you will gain AP, which is necessary for setting battle actions. Okay. Appears the wisdom pertaining to the battle written in ancient tongue. Martial arts. As you fight in more battles, you will level up and acquire new martial arts. Charging and piercing attacks are up and down left thing. And left, left thing, left joystick, right and left mobile and area effect arts. Huh. Switch them up as needed depending on the battle, on how the battle's going. All right. So that's pretty much just another way for tutorials to talk to us. You say anything new? So that was a Hellion. Yeah, and I doubt it was the only one. We need to get out of here as quickly, uh, quietly and as quickly as possible. I mean... Look around you. Oh shit! Yeah, I mean, I know you were talking about the treasure, but you could have totally been like, "Hey, sorry, there's a giant fucking spider behind you. Watch your ass, goddamn jackass." Not you, Mick. The, the spider. Also, clearly, we just killed those things, so we clearly have the power of perfection. Uh, Spirit Chain, or SC. Spirit Chain is the energy need to create combos in battle. The maximum SC you have can have at any time is 100. Action such as martial arts will consume your SC. So instead of having MP or tech points, they have SC, which is a fixed 100. Interesting. And we get an apple gel. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Any other spiders want to fuck with us? How much do we need? 600? Oh, I don't like it. I want, I want less. I want to level up, damn it. Oh, I see a monolith. Oh, I see a treasure chest. I think he's waiting for us. There might be something nearby. I was totally going to hit you with my thing. Defend against enemy with X guarding. Uh, guarding allows you greatest religious damage by inflicting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get, we get it. That's sidestepping, by the way. You guard and you move. It's been the same since Tales of Symphonia, since they added something like this. I did hear that they made the battle systems uh, different, so you're not transitioning into a new area when you get into an encounter. It's just on the map. I, I was actually interested in see how they were going to handle it, and they seem to handle it kind of well. I might put it on... Can, can I... Can I set it to... Um, manual, there we go. I like semi-auto. It's fine, but... 
There's a save point. And there's a monolith. There's another spider. Anything over here? Nope. I wouldn't mind another sage. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. I can sense the ancient tongue. Sounds like someone has a Grammy fetish. It appears to be the wisdom pertaining to battles written in ancient tongue. Guarding the enemy's guards against your attack action. SC will cover rate is halved until your next move. Okay, so if they guard, my my spirit chain stuff won't recover. If an enemy successfully blocks your first attack, it is likely to keep blocking any further ones. So if an enemy guards, stop attacking it. <laughs> so unless you have like a guard break, I'm assuming. I'm assuming there's guard break in this game. Note, this is rule applies to enemies as well. Yeah, I thought we were talking about enemies. I mean, do you mean it applies to us as well? Oh yeah, okay. So if an enemy does it to us and we block, yeah. Okay, it was worded weirdly in my mind. We get another AP, can we equip anything else? No. And I haven't done any guard stuff yet. <laughs> All right, let's go kill this guy. There's a save point over there, which that's probably where we'll end the episode. Right, I already switched the manual. I always do. I always do that in Tales games. Like I'll switch the manual and I'll completely forget that I switched the manual, and then I'm just be swinging in the air. We have it. We just did. It was easy. That's going to be it for this episode. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. You know what? Let's start that outro for a sec because we just got a skit. That human probably got caught up in all the lightning just like we did. More like the other way around. We have her to thank for all that crash boom bang. That lightning. That was Gramps, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a warning to invaders. Not one more step. <sighs> Sorry, Gramps. I can't just leave someone who needs help. Huh. This is turning into an eventful day for once. So your grandpa's a dick. All right. Uh, mysterious monolith. It's a cool monolith. We've had quite a bounty of discoveries today. If I'm not mistaken, that stone is a lot newer than the surrounding ruins. Yeah, it's from a completely different age. It read like advice of some sort. Like a this tutorial! A guidepost left by previous visitors to aid fellow travelers. So we're not the only ones who go around investigating ruins. Humans have terms for them. Things like adventurer or explorer. Explorers. Alright, that's it for this kit. So yes, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head on to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.